Welcome back everybody. This is Chris Sussman, otherwise known as the Barbecue Buddha, and we're here for another Wednesday edition of my YouTube recipes. So this one, I'm throwing it back to a post that I did in 2016 on my blog. And this post is one of my most successful blog posts to date, which doesn't say much because I don't get a lot of traffic on my blog, but that's what I'm working on. But this recipe is something that everybody seems to enjoy because it's from a restaurant, the Standard Grill in New York City, that makes this world famous dish called Million Dollar Chicken. And so I transposed that recipe for the Big Green Egg in 2016, and there it is sat. But I wasn't into doing videos back then. And so I am now fixing that. I'm making myself a YouTube video. Well, actually, I'm making you a YouTube video, and I'm gonna stick it in that blog post, and I'm gonna put it up on my YouTube site because this is a good recipe to share. I've switched a few things around this time. I'm using a cast iron pan instead of a roasting pan. I am going to use a pasture-raised chicken. This is from Pasture Bird, such a great small company. They raise all of their chickens on a pasture with natural feed, no factory farming. The owner is a founding farmer, if you will. He started this after he left the service and they began raising these pasture-raised chickens. So I love working with this company. I love working with this product, but everything else is, is mostly the same. So we're gonna show you how to do this. It's a really easy dish and I promise you the glaze for this chicken will be something that you wanna make and put on everything. It's really easy, but it's super full of flavor. So let's go, let's start prepping this chicken. So the very first thing I want to do, because we're using a spatch cocked chicken, that means the backbone is removed and there is no cavity. And in the original recipe, you fill the cavity with garlic, lemon, and thyme. We're gonna go ahead and just season the outside of the bird with those things as we put it into this pan. So a slight modification, all of pasture birds chickens come to you spatch cocked. So we're gonna do this a little bit differently. Also, if you've seen my crispy spatchcock chicken recipe, which will now be linked right up here for you to check out, I show you the way in which you dry brine your bird to get the crispiest skin possible. So I did that yesterday. You can check out this video and see how you do it for yourself. But that's why this bird looks a little funky. It's not because the bird is bad, it's because it's been dry brining in my fridge overnight. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice up this day old sourdough bread into big thick one inch slices. These are in essence gonna make the foundation of this chicken dish and they're gonna sit under the chicken absorbing all of this wonderful glaze, the juices, the aromatics as the chicken cooks away in my big green egg. So we want these cuts, these slices to be really thick. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna get about three one inch slices of this day old sourdough bread. All right, we've got our cast iron pan. I'm gonna lightly oil the bottom of the cast iron pan before putting the bread in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rub my fingers around to spread that olive oil evenly on the bottom of the pan. All right, now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the three pieces of bread right inside that cast iron pan like so. Perfect, it's gonna make a great foundation for the spatchcock chicken. And we'll place the chicken in the middle and here is where I am going to lightly olive oil the chicken on the inside. Watch the bones with your glove. Salt, nice kosher salt. And here I will take three cloves of fresh garlic that I minced. I'll just put that right on top and I'll rub that into the cavity of the chicken. Now I will take a lemon and I'll squeeze some fresh lemon juice all over the chicken. And then I'll put some fresh thyme into the cavity of that chicken. 
So I'm gonna flip this chicken around. There we go, the chicken is sitting nicely on top of that uh, pile of sourdough bread on the bottom. All right, so the chicken is on top of those big croutons. We're gonna just sprinkle a little tiny bit of olive oil on top, a little pepper, a little bit of salt. Nestle the chicken on top of the bread so it's covered. A Little bit of that other half a lemon. Pour it on top of the chicken skin just a little bit. And I'm just going to put it into the pan. So as the chicken starts to cook down, the drippings will render, the fat will render. It's going to then fill up with the lemon and all those aromatics and then we'll be able to baste it during the cook. I'm gonna go ahead outside, get that big green egg ready to go. We're at about 450 degrees. I think that's a little bit high, even though that's what the recipe said. So I've closed the top vent most of the way and I've closed the bottom vent halfway. I'm gonna to try to bring this temperature down closer to 400 degrees, 375 for this cook. While that chicken is cooking away outside on my big green egg, we are gonna make this delicious glaze. So let's give it a shot. The very first thing that you wanna do that gives us its unctuousness, its creaminess, its deliciousness, is this creme fraiche. So we'll put that inside the bowl. If I wasn't on camera, I would probably be licking the spoon. I really love this stuff. It tastes so good, so creamy, so delicious. The juice of one whole lemon. We're gonna put a whole lemon juice right in here. That same lemon, we now have the rind of that lemon. And as I was preparing for this video, it dawned on me. A lot of time I do my miso plus. Miso plus is all the ingredients that I'm gonna to put together for this recipe ahead of time for efficiency during the video but maybe you all wanna see me actually cutting and chopping and prepping most of this stuff. If you do, please leave me a comment and let me know. I will add that to my next video or tell me what you wanna see. What skills do you wanna learn? What do you want to know from the good old barbecue Buddha? All right, this is a really interesting ingredient. This is a medium shallot, one shallot, but instead of dicing it, I ran it through the same micrograder that I got that lemon zest with. So as you can see, look at this. It's like pulp, and that way it's gonna infuse in here. It's not gonna give you any texture, but it's gonna give you all that delicious shallot flavor. So let's put that right in. And finally, this recipe calls for a teaspoon of harissa. I don't have harissa on hand. You could use hot saucer in this case. I've used sambal olek, the chili paste. I'm just gonna put that right in. We just want a little bit of spiciness added to this dish. What I'm gonna do is just give this a quick hand mix with the spoon to incorporate everything in there. I'm gonna take a whisk, a hand whisk, and I'm gonna make this glaze nice and smooth. I'm telling you, this glaze is so delicious. And when you see what it does to that outside of that chicken, crisps it up, caramelizes it, it's just an amazing glaze. So that is the Standard Grills Million Dollar Chicken Glaze. We're gonna set this aside. We're gonna baste that chicken about every 15 minutes. When it's almost finished, we're gonna start glazing this with the same brush that we're using to baste it during the cook. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this. All right, so you can see it's been about 15 minutes. We're just under 400 degrees. Let's open this baby up and take a look inside. Ooh, we're already starting to see that beautiful brown skin. Not sure if you can hear that, but we are just getting some sizzle from the pan drippings. That's looking good. All right, so a little bit worried that this bread is burning and the chicken is almost done. You can see how beautiful and crispy it is. So I'm gonna take this chicken, just put it on this pan, set it to the side, and then 
here's all that bread. I'm gonna flip it around. Ah, it's not as bad as the first time I made this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this chicken back on. And let's check the temp of the breast. About 150, so we're close. I mean, we're not too far away. I think I'm gonna start glazing. All right, so I got this wonderful glaze out of the refrigerator I was telling you about, and now I'm gonna start layering it all over the outside of the chicken. Glaze is set on the chicken. You can see it there, looks beautiful. We're gonna pull this thing off, let it rest for a few minutes while we slice and serve. All right, everybody. That was about an hour and 10 minutes or so in the big green egg. We glazed this thing. I think it looks pretty good. That chicken is looking delicious. We're gonna move the chicken right over here to the cutting board. We're gonna scoop up these pieces of this bread right here, put it to the side. A little crispy. I think one of the things that, when I was talking to Mrs. Buddha about this recipe, now that this is the second time that I've made it, the heat source from the big green egg is coming from the bottom. And as a result of the heat source coming from the bottom, I think that we might get the bottom of the pan a little hotter than it needs to be, but that's not too bad. It doesn't look like too much burnt toast. That looks pretty good, don't you think? I'm just gonna take half the chicken, because I think the other half of the chicken I'm gonna use for pictures. Remove that other half of chicken right over here. Take a piece of this bread. Oof, look at that. Now, I'm going to cut off that chicken thigh. I think it's time for us to slice off a hunk of this chicken put it on the bread, and we'll do the taste test together. What do you think about that? Nice piece of breast meat with the skin on it, that glaze, put it on the bread. Let's go ahead and get a bite of this bad boy. We did it. We did a YouTube video of Million Dollar Chicken. We've got the beautiful, crusty bread that has all that drippings from the chicken, the lemon, that glaze with the creme fraiche and the shallot all down in there. The garlic, the thyme, the lemon. The flavors in here are amazing. You could play around with this with the big green egg. You could put it on the expander up top, let the chicken drip below. Maybe you have some bread in there. Maybe you have some vegetables. I'm gonna keep playing around with this recipe. I now know why I did it in 2016 and I now know why I did it again today. So I hope you all enjoyed following along. If you like what you see here, please leave me a message below or hit the subscribe button that's right there. And until we eat again, cook something good for me. Have a great day, everybody. Ciao.